Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Dan. And today, I'm bringing you another review for, a, again, another animated short. And it's this one, The Night Before Christmas, A Mouse Tale. Yeah, seriously, that's what it's called. Uh, so I just figured I'll review this, I actually bought a copy of this movie. Just so I can have another film to review for you guys. Yeah, see how the shit I had to go through? Oi. So yeah, folks. This is going to be in the movie I'm going to be reviewing. Another kid's movie. Again. Why not, I guess. I've been reviewing lots of these anyway, so whatever. So anyway, as usual, let's get into the plot, shall we? Ugh. Whatever. Anyway. Yeah, it's supposed to be loosely uh, based upon a poem by the, uh, by the same name, sort of. This animated feature ex explores the excitement that ex unexpectedly came around when the homeless mouse family must look after a new, uh, must look for a new place, so to speak, to live, of course. And obviously, it's never as easy as it seems, of course. They're gonna have to live adventure, of course. And, um, it's pretty crazy in their own little way, I suppose. So, finding themselves homeless on Christmas Eve, the mouse family happened. Upon uh, this family who has a house where the holiday spirit is full of joy or whatever, and the mother and the father mouse are happy to have found someone to keep their children out of the cold, I guess you would say, asking if the parents was Christmas. Of course, there's going to be a story time or whatever and whatnot, and uh, of course, you know, some, something of a backstory, I guess you would say. Now the mouse children are on a quest, because of course, to find the real meaning of Christmas. And you know it's going to be something super generic, you know, something about family or whatever. All this stuff is very predictable, it's very, very predictable. Because why not, I guess? Because why not, I suppose. Super generic, so anyway, as I was saying, decide. Mm -hmm. So here we go, and just with this shit. Folks. Mr. Monkey, how many times do I have to tell you I don't want to buy you these god awful movies? No, never. No, go and get. Seriously. You gonna stop throwing shit at me, really, Mr. Monkey? You gonna be that pissed off? No, no, stop throwing shit. Damn it. Of course, one of the problems I have with this film is that it's boring. There's nothing original here, folks. Of course, the animals talk. We all seen lots and 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 lots, lots, lots of movies where animals talk. And of course, there's Santa Claus, of course. And why did I have to get this movie? I know I did it for my Christmas stuff, now I regret it. I really regret it now. Ah. I don't like this. And the animation is kind of bad, if you ask me. I mean, it's super, uh, it's super generic designs and whatnot. I know this film was intended to be like a television made kind of a thing. And I know that. But still, I mean, you can't even try a bit harder than this. I mean, seriously, the animation looks bad. Oy. And, um, I didn't like the story. Of course, there's some elves. They're just elves, I guess. Uh, there's, no, there's no explanation of that. They're just, they're just elves. That's it. And, of course, the characters don't really have a personality, really. And they're just, you know, the typical run-of-the-mill characters. So, I know this was supposed to be a family movie. Don't get me wrong, that's fine. That, that's not what I'm, you know, complaining about here. But, you know, don't use the, uh, the fact that this is a family film as an excuse to not make a good story. And there are some smart kids out there, you know. There are some smart kids out there, you know. And... There's this angel, I guess, for some odd reason. She doesn't really amount to much, but, you know, she's there for, you know, reasons, I guess you can say. Ah, Mr. Monkey, stay out of the kitchen, will you? Yeah. Stop. Stop it. Go. Go. Bat Monkey. Bat Monkey. Bat. Oh, come on. I've got Sarah from, Dra from the Dragon Age games. She has her own culture on and whatnot, so it's more to her. And just the looks, you know, and she's an elf. So, 
Point being is that the characters, again, they lack any sort of personality and whatever. They're just, I mean, there's some, there's something of a personality with these characters, I guess. But, whatever. They're, they're heavily relying on the fact that, oh, it's a mouse, and that's it. Oh, look, it's Santa Claus, and that's it. Just all reliant on the visuals of characters for you to uh, immediately think uh, this is supposed to be, you know, some sort of attachment with these characters or whatever. And, uh, I just didn't like how it was done overall. There's, like, there's, there's so many other characters who come up here, like, for example, other animals, like, like this one, the bird. Makes an appearance for some odd reason, so uh, I don't know why, but it doesn't really serve no ro no real purpose like at all. So give me a break here. Oh uh, yeah, we're reviewing this shitty movie. Just bet me out appetite. Get some tamales over here. Yeah, sorry, but I do gotta eat, folks. All right, here we go. Also, folks, I would say that the music in this movie isn't very good either. If anything, I don't I don't remember any of the music like at all. So. There was a feature to ch they were really trying to have a good feel, uh, g I guess Christmas ish thing going on, but I don't care because they felt at it. The music wasn't very good, so they felt out of that department, so I didn't feel good at all. I mean, I felt good when it was over, sure, but that was about it. And I thought the writing was bad. And don't give me the excuse, oh, because it's short, or because it's a TV-made film, or it's something for kids. That just comes off as an excuse. No excuse. Doesn't matter what it's aimed for, it should have some good writing, which this movie lacks. This, makes, this movie lacks really good, bad, uh, good writing. It's terrible. And again, what's up with this angel? The angel doesn't really amount to much, really. I guess to make, it, make everything feel good, I guess. Uh, I, I really don't know, but whatever, I guess. And yeah, that's the thing, folks. Just like Halloween, Christmas is a pagan holiday. Both of these holidays are belong to the pagans. Yeah, that's exactly why the Jehovah's Witnesses don't like celebrating them. I know they're a bunch of assholes, but I'm just giving you a, you know, a little fun fact there. So, uh, this movie is it's really bad. Oi. Alrighty. Flush, damn it! Why don't you flip on the fucking toilet? Shit! Ah! Ooh, I got a pee pee. Put your pee pee on you too. Again, why are there so many animal characters in this movie? I mean, I don't mind animals, I like to enjoy them. But there's so many of these animal characters in this movie that it feels cl cluttered. No, so there's less time on actually delivering the characters that we don't get to know them, really. Not even the, uh, I guess, I guess you're going to say the, the human characters. Never got to know them at all. Yes, I know, this is a short movie, but that shouldn't be used as an excuse. So, yeah, besides the character tropes, yeah, besides the typical tropes you might expect from these movies, I don't know really. None of them. They're just generic, half-baked ideas that's thrown in here. This could have been a good movie. You really That's the thing that frustrated me the most. It could have been. So it reminds me like a wasted opportunity here, if anything. So, there's nothing really positive I can say about this film. That's probably the nicest thing I can say about it. This feels like a wasted opportunity here, because it could have been good. <sighs> Crap. Whatever, folks. Whatever. I said avoid it, even if it is short. So anyway, folks, I'll say that this is a total disaster of a flick. Nothing's really good. So whatever, I guess. Yeah, we'll get an overall rating of a 4.0 out of 10. It gets a 4.0 out of 10 for me. And yes, of course, of course, as always, thank you for watching and take care. Until next time. Oh, yeah. <sighs> See ya. Whatever.